Hey everyone. So lately I've been thinking a lot about friendships. Whether you've been friends with someone for a couple years or 50 years, friends play a very valuable role in our lives. So I figured I would dedicate this video to friends all around the world, including mine, Danny. We've been friends for over 33 years, I believe. I'm really tired, so I can't do the math right now, but it's been a very long time and I'm very grateful for her. And I have other friends too, like Sam, I've known since high school, um, all my friends on Facebook and like even acquaintances, but we really should value our friendships. So this video is dedicated to all the friends worldwide. Remember, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me for more. So, like I said earlier in my video, I've been thinking a lot about friendships and how much value they are actually really worth. For some people, making friends is easy, and for others, it's hard. I always struggled with making friends, not so much because people didn't like me, but because I didn't allow a lot of people to be my friend. I didn't open up to a lot of people, but now I realize I should. I'm still gonna have my boundaries though, but I should be more willingly to open up to others. I am a friend to many, but I only allow a very select few to be my friend. Now that I have thought about it, it's not really fair to others or myself. However, I consider myself lucky to have a few good friends and one best friend. My older brother, he seems to make friends really easily. My younger brother has a lot of friends too. A couple of weeks ago, I took my boys to a local park and I observed my oldest. He, ha uh, he struggled making friends. And I also got to observe my youngest. He had a really easy time making friends. Like... Every kid at the park wanted to be his friend. Now, my oldest probably struggled because of his disability. He has a learning disability. And it made me really sad to see him struggle like that. However, it also made me really happy to know that my youngest will have no problem making friends. Ever since I became a mom, I've struggled with the thought why do people still value their friendships when they become parents? Being a parent should be their main and only concern. I know. I was very naive. I understand why now. If you don't remain who you are and truly value your friendships, you're going to end up losing yourself, you know, losing sight of yourself. And when you become an empty nester, you have to find yourself again. And that can be hard for a lot of people. While children should be your main concern as parents, they shouldn't be your only concern. A child is only with you for approximately 18 years, but you are you for your whole life. Now, I'm not saying once your child moves out of the house, you're not going to think about them again because as a parent, especially as a mom, as a loving mom, they're going to constantly be on your mind. But you cannot forget who you are, who you were, before you had a child. I realized all this one day when I was thinking of my mom and her camping friends. My mom has other friends as well. But this group of ladies always sticks out to me. I refer to them as the camping ladies in my mind. These ladies became friends when my youngest brother was in Cub Scouts 
So that was about 18 or 19 years ago, I think. I could be wrong. But over the years, these ladies have worked hard to maintain their friendships. And I am honestly blessed that I have gotten to witness this. I hope you all have a great day. Or night. Remember, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me for more.
And there you have it. True friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart.